On a warm, sunny day in the summer of 2003, Barty Beach in Sydney was alive with the rhythmic sounds of crashing waves and the joyous laughter of beachgoers. Families and friends gathered along the shoreline, basking in the golden rays of the sun. Among the crowd was the Lee family, who had come to enjoy a day of sun and surf. Benjamin Lee, a 20-year-old avid surfer, had always connected deeply to the ocean. Barty Beach was known for its pristine waters and perfect waves, making it a haven for surfers. Its sandy shores stretched for miles, framed by rocky cliffs and lush vegetation. The salt-scented breeze carried the promise of adventure, and as Benjamin waxed his board, he couldn't help but feel the excitement building inside him. Benjamin's family watched from the shoreline, their hearts filled with pride and worry. Something was captivating about the sight of their son and brother taking on the mighty waves, a view they had witnessed countless times before. But today, an undercurrent of anxiety lingered in the air. The sun was now at its zenith, casting a brilliant reflection over the Azure Sea. Benjamin, clad in his vibrant wetsuit, paddled out toward the break, his surfboard bobbing gracefully on the water's surface. With each stroke, he felt the cool embrace of the ocean, a sensation that always invigorated him. Out in the distance, the waves were building, curling into perfect cylinders that promised exhilarating rides. Benjamin's heart raced with anticipation as he waited for the right moment to catch the wave that would carry him back to shore. He knew the ocean well, or so he thought. As Benjamin scanned the horizon for the ideal wave, an unusual unease began to stir. He couldn't quite grasp it, but something felt different today. It was as though the ocean itself was whispering a warning, a subtle message that he couldn't decipher. Unbeknownst to Benjamin, lurking beneath the pristine surface of the water, a massive bull shark was also on the hunt. Drawn by the commotion of surfers and the promise of an easy meal, the shark moved silently its powerful body slicing through the water with uncanny stealth. The Lee family standing together on the beach watched Benjamin with bated breath. Their anxiety was now impossible to ignore, and their gaze was fixed on the lone figure of their beloved surfer. His younger sister Lily clung to her mother's hand, her wide eyes filled with excitement and fear. Just as Benjamin positioned himself to catch a wave, the shark's primal instincts took over. With a swift, lethal movement, it lunged from beneath the water, jaws agape, and clamped down on Benjamin's leg. The force of the attack sent Benjamin toppling from his board, his cry of pain silenced by the roar of the surf. The shark's savage grip on Benjamin's leg was unrelenting, and with terrifying strength it dragged him beneath the surface. The salt water churned crimson as Benjamin's lifeblood mingled with the sea. Benjamin's family stood frozen in horror, unable to comprehend the nightmare unfolding before them. They could only watch, powerless, as the ocean claimed their son and brother. As Benjamin was pulled deeper into the depths, his mind raced with a flurry of thoughts and emotions. The pain radiating from his leg was excruciating, and he struggled to maintain his composure. He knew that his chances of survival were rapidly diminishing with each passing moment, but a fierce determination to fight for his life coursed through his veins. The underwater world was a realm of shadows and muted colors, and Benjamin's senses were heightened in the face of danger. He could feel the shark's immense power and the relentless pull of the current. With every ounce of strength he could muster, he attempted to free himself from the shark's vice-like grip. Back on the beach, Benjamin's family was not alone in their shock and terror. The other beachgoers who had witnessed the horrifying attack had gathered, their voices raised in a cacophony of disbelief and fear. Some dialed emergency services, desperately pleading for help. Minutes felt like hours as Benjamin and the bull shark fought for survival beneath the waves. With his heart pounding and adrenaline surging through his veins, Benjamin clung to the belief that he could outwit the relentless predator. But the ocean, with its vast depths and unfathomable mysteries, was a relentless opponent. Benjamin's lungs burned for air, and his strength waned as he grappled with the shark. His vision grew blurry, and his consciousness teetered on the edge of darkness. At the water's edge, the Lee family and the gathered onlookers held their breath, their eyes straining to catch any glimpse of Benjamin. The paramedics and rescue teams, alerted by the frantic calls for help, were racing toward the scene, but time was slipping away. In the depths of the ocean, Benjamin's struggle was nearing its end. 
His body weakened and his thoughts turned to his family, the faces of his loved ones flashing before his eyes. As the battle raged, the ocean began relinquishing its grip on Benjamin. With a final burst of strength, he broke free from the shark's jaws. He pushed himself toward the surface, gasping for air, his survival instinct prevailing against all odds. Benjamin's emergence from the water was a moment of relief and disbelief. He was battered, his body bearing the scars of the harrowing encounter, but he was alive. The beach erupted in cheers and applause as his family rushed to his side, their faces wet with tears of joy and relief. The bull shark, having lost its prey, vanished back into the depths of the ocean, a silent, enigmatic predator that continued to haunt the waters. Benjamin's encounter with the beast had left an indelible mark on him, a reminder of the fragility of human life in the face of nature's incredible power. In the days and weeks that followed, Benjamin's story of survival became a testament to the strength of the human spirit. He endured a long and arduous recovery, both physical and emotional, but his love for the ocean remained undiminished. His family, forever marked by the day they nearly lost him, held on to the gratitude that their son and brother had been spared from the jaws of the deep. Barty Beach, with its azure waters and golden sands, continued to be a haven for surfers and beachgoers. The ocean, as majestic and alluring as ever, retained its enigmatic allure. Benjamin Lee's story, a tale of resilience and survival, served as a powerful reminder of the unpredictable and untamable nature of the sea. The sun hung low on the horizon, casting a warm golden hue over Hurdy Beach, located on the outskirts of southern Sydney, Australia. It was the kind of picturesque evening that drew surfers from near and far to its inviting waves. Among them was Daniel Mitchell, a 29-year-old surfer who had always felt a deep connection to the sea. Hurdy Beach was a gem of a location known for its relatively uncrowded waves and the pristine, untouched beauty of its shoreline. Rugged cliffs flanked the beach, their weathered faces standing sentinel against the relentless tides. Seagulls soared in the sky, and the rhythmic crash of the surf created a mesmerizing symphony. Daniel was an experienced surfer, and the thrill of riding the waves was a passion that ran deep in his veins. Today, he ventured out alone, paddling his board about 100 meters from the shore. The waves were inviting, their frothy peaks promising an exhilarating ride and he couldn't resist their call. With each powerful stroke, Daniel propelled himself further from the safety of the shoreline. With the taste of salt on his lips and the crisp sea breeze in his hair, he felt a profound sense of freedom. Hurdy Beach had always been a sanctuary for him, where the world's problems disappeared in the face of the ocean's endless horizon. But on this fateful evening, the tranquil facade of the sea held a lurking danger. Beneath the surface, a shadowy figure moved with predatory grace. It was a bull shark, drawn to the commotion of surfers and the promise of an easy meal. Its sleek form glided stealthily through the water, unseen by those on the surface. The other surfers out in the water were oblivious to the approaching danger, each immersed in their pursuit of the perfect wave. As Daniel scanned the horizon for the next set, the shark closed the distance, its predatory instincts honed to perfection. In a sudden, brutal surge, the bull shark lunged from the depths, jaws agape, and clamped down on Daniel's thigh. The force of the attack was staggering, and the vastness of the ocean swallowed Daniel's agonized cry. His board was sent careening through the waves as he was pulled underwater, trapped by the relentless predator. The other surfers, their senses jolted by the sudden violence, sprang into action. With a mixture of fear and adrenaline, they fought through the churning surf, reaching for Daniel's flailing form. Desperation and determination fueled their efforts as they struggled to free him from the shark's deadly grip. Back on the beach, the scene had transformed from one of idyllic serenity to one of panic and chaos. Onlookers and fellow beachgoers, their voices rising in frantic alarm, watched in horror as the struggle unfolded. Emergency services were called and the desperate plea for help resounded. The battle beneath the waves raged, a fierce contest of strength, survival, and primal instinct. Daniel, his vision blurred by the salt water, fought to maintain his composure in the face of unimaginable pain. The shark's grip on his thigh was unyielding, its teeth sinking more profoundly with each moment. As the surfers grappled with the shark, the sheer power of the predator became evident. 
Its massive body, well suited for the hunt, thrashed and writhed, refusing to relinquish its prey. With each passing second, the clock ticked down on Daniel's chances of survival. His breath grew shallow, and his strength waned as he continued to fight for his life. The surfers pulled and tugged, their faces etched with determination. But the shark remained an implacable foe. Amid the struggle, the first responders arrived on the scene. Lifeguards and paramedics, armed with equipment and expertise, dove into the water to aid in the rescue effort. Professional rescuers joined the surfers' hands, united in their mission to free Daniel from the shark's grip. The water was stained with blood, a grim testament to the ferocity of the battle unfolding. Despite the combined efforts of the rescuers, time had not been on Daniel's side. His body, battered and broken, had endured too much. The shark's relentless assault had taken its toll, and as they finally succeeded in prying the predator away, it was too late. Daniel's life had slipped away beneath the waves. In the aftermath of the tragedy, Daniel Mitchell's family grieved the loss of their beloved son and brother. The beach, with its untouched beauty, remained a place of memories and mourning. The bull shark, having returned to the depths, continued to roam the mysterious world of the ocean, a silent and enigmatic predator. Hurdy Beach, a haven for surfers and beachgoers, would always be different. The sea, with its ever-shifting moods, held a new layer of complexity. Daniel Mitchell's story, a tale of courage and the fragility of life in the face of nature's incredible power, became an unhappy chapter in the annals of the ocean's history. On a sunny Saturday morning, Munda Beach in Melbourne, Australia, basked in the glow of a promising day. The golden sands stretched along the shoreline, caressed by gentle waves that whispered the allure of the ocean. Families and friends gathered on the beach, embracing the opportunity to enjoy the sea and the sun's warmth. Among them was the Robertson family, a tight-knit foursome who had come to Munda Beach to savor a day of surfing. Oliver, the father, and his two teenage children, Charlotte and Oscar, were seasoned surfers. They had honed their skills on these waves and reveled in the excitement surfing brought. Willow, the mother, preferred to stay on the shore, content in watching her family carve through the waves. With their boards in tow, Oliver and his children paddled out into the ocean, the salt-kissed breeze enveloping them. They navigated the waters expertly, finding the perfect spot to catch the rolled-in breaks. Willow stood on the shoreline, her heart filled with pride and a sense of serenity as she watched her family embrace the joy of the sea. As the waves rose and fell, Charlotte and Oscar displayed their agility and skill, riding the surf with grace and confidence. Their laughter and shouts of delight echoed over the water, a testament to their bond as siblings and surfers. Oliver, their father, joined in the exhilaration, carving his way through the waves with the same enthusiasm he had passed on to his children. Munda Beach, with its unspoiled beauty, provided the perfect backdrop for this family's shared passion. The waves glistened in the sunlight, their rhythm a comforting melody that had accompanied countless days of surfing. However, on this otherwise idyllic morning, a shadow of dread began to cast its pall over Willow. She watched from the shore as a large, ominous shape moved beneath the water. The sight sent a chill through her, a sense of impending danger that she couldn't ignore. Willow recognized the shadow for what it was, a bull shark, a predator that struck fear into the hearts of all who understood its deadly nature. Her cries for help were frantic and she waved her arms wildly, hoping to alert her family to the imminent peril. But the ocean, with its vast expanse and the noise of the waves, muffled her voice. Willow's heart raced, knowing the time was slipping away and her family was in grave danger. The bull shark, propelled by its predatory instincts, moved with unnerving speed, closing in on Oliver, Charlotte, and Oscar. As they rode the waves, blissfully unaware of the approaching menace, the shark burst from the water, jaws agape, and struck with brutal force. In an instant, Oscar was knocked from his surfboard, his scream echoing through the surf in the open air. Oliver and Charlotte reacted with lightning speed, abandoning their boards to rush to Oscar's aid. But the shark was faster, its mighty jaws clamping down on Oscar's leg, rendering his cries of agony inaudible beneath the relentless roar of the ocean. The struggle that unfolded in those harrowing moments was a desperate battle for Oscar's life. 
Oliver and Charlotte fought fiercely to free their son and brother from the savage grasp of the bull shark. Their faces etched with anguish and determination. The shark's strength was astonishing, and its grip on Oscar was unwavering. It dragged the young surfer beneath the waves, plunging the family into an abyss of terror and despair. Their cries for help reverberated through the beach, but the outcome of this brutal encounter was far from certain. As Oliver and Charlotte continued to grapple with the shark, they could feel the fading strength of their beloved Oscar. The salt water churned crimson with the battle's brutality, and their desperation mounted with each passing second. In the distance, Willow stood frozen on the shore, her horror-stricken gaze locked on the unforgiving spectacle unfolding in the water. Her voice was lost amidst the tumult, and she could only watch helplessly as the shark disappeared into the depths, dragging Oscar with it. The ocean, with its vast expanse, swallowed the young surfer, its depths holding the terrible secret of his fate. Willow, her voice choked with sobs, collapsed onto the sandy shore, her tears mingling with the salt water. The beach, once a place of leisure and family bonding, was now a scene of tragedy. The gathered onlookers were left in stunned silence, their faces etched with sorrow as they contemplated the heart-wrenching loss that had unfolded before them. Munda Beach, once a haven of beauty and serenity, had been irrevocably altered by the horrors of that day. As the hours passed and the waves continued to roll in with unrelenting indifference, the Robertson family clung to one another, their grief and pain too profound for words. Willow, once a witness to the joy of her family's surfing adventures, was now a mourner at the shore, forever haunted by the memory of that fateful day when they lost Oscar. Mudbijo Beach, Queensland, Australia, was renowned for its stunning coastal beauty, with the azure waters of the Pacific Ocean lapping against its golden sands. On a sunny day, the beach was a magnet for surfers and beachgoers, seeking the thrill of riding the waves. Among the sun-kissed crowd was a 17-year-old surfer named Cooper Murphy, who was eager to conquer the surf and savor the exhilaration of the open sea. Cooper was a seasoned surfer, and his passion for riding the waves was a defining aspect of his young life. The endless expanse of the ocean, with its unpredictable and powerful waves, drew him like a siren's call. As he waxed his board on the shore and looked out at the waves, his heart raced with the anticipation of another epic surf session. The beach was alive with the joyous laughter of families and friends, but Cooper was ready to plunge into the ocean alone. With his surfboard under his arm, he ventured into the water, determined to ride the waves at a familiar spot he had always loved. However, beneath the surface of the seemingly tranquil ocean, danger lurked. In the depths, a bull shark prowled, drawn by the scent of fish and the promise of an easy meal. Bull sharks were known for their aggressive nature and the ability to adapt to various environments, including shallow coastal waters. Cooper, blissfully unaware of the predator in the water, began to paddle out beyond the breakers. His muscles worked in harmony with the rhythm of the waves as he sought the perfect wave to ride. As he scanned the horizon for the ideal wave, the bull shark approached with sinister intent. With a sudden violent surge, the shark lunged from the depths and clamped its powerful jaws around Cooper's arm. The searing pain shot through Cooper's body, and the taste of salt water mixed with the metallic tang of blood in his mouth. Cooper's survival instinct kicked in as he fought to escape the shark's grip. With every ounce of strength and resolve, he struggled to escape the predator's deadly hold. The struggle unfolded beneath the surface, a relentless battle for life in the heart of the ocean. Cooper's ordeal unfolded just beyond the shore, a scene hidden from the view of the beachgoers. As he grappled with the shark, the surfers and sunbathers remained unaware of the life-and-death struggle in the depths. During the battle, Cooper's strength began to wane. The pain in his injured arm was excruciating, and the relentless pull of the shark threatened to drag him further into the depths. The shark, with its unwavering determination, seemed an impossible adversary. Cooper's life hung in the balance as he fought to stay afloat and free himself from the shark's grip. Each passing moment brought him closer to exhaustion, and the need for immediate rescue became increasingly urgent. The beachgoers and fellow surfers, joyful pursuits disrupted by the drama unfolding beyond their view, remained oblivious to Cooper's plight. The lifeguards on the beach, however, were on high alert, 
ever watchful for signs of distress in the water. In the distance, the lifeguard spotted a frantic commotion in the water. The tumultuous struggle between Cooper and the bull shark was now visible, and it was clear that a dire situation had unfolded. Without hesitation, they launched into action, rushing to the scene to provide the much-needed assistance. With the help of the lifeguards, Cooper was pulled from the clutches of the bull shark and safely brought back to the shore. The shark, its predatory mission thwarted, retreated into the ocean's depths. Cooper's face was contorted with pain, but the relief of being on solid ground was palpable. The beach, once filled with laughter and sun-soaked serenity, now held a sobered crowd. As Cooper was rushed to the hospital, his injured arm a testament to the dangerous encounter, the beachgoers were left to contemplate the fragility of human life in the face of nature's tremendous power. At the hospital, Cooper underwent surgery to repair the extensive damage to his arm. The medical team worked tirelessly to mend his injuries, their efforts a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Cooper, with the support of his family and dedicated medical professionals, embarked on a challenging recovery journey. Cooper's story, one of survival and resilience, served as a stark reminder of the inherent risks of swimming and surfing in areas where sharks are known to frequent. The incident at Mudby Joe Beach underscored the importance of remaining vigilant and informed about the presence of sharks in the waters. The ocean, with its beauty and majesty, harbored a world of wonder and peril.